An electrochemical cell is composed of pure copper and pure lead electrodes in solutions of their respective divalent ions. For a 0.6 molar concentration of copper 2 plus, we are told the lead electrode is oxidized, yielding a cell potential of 0.507 volts. We're asked to calculate the concentration of lead 2 plus ions if the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So we've highlighted some of the important bits of information they've given us here. Now what we need to realize is that we're solving a corrosion problem, which is electrochemistry, and therefore it must have a redox reaction. A redox re reaction is one that involves both reduction and oxidation. So we should begin with a table of our standard reduction potentials. This table shows for many different metals what happens as the ionic species picks up electrons to form the metal. And it gives you the standard electrode potential. Now in this case, we know that we have divalent ions, so copper 2 plus, picking up two electrons to form copper metal, and we're told what voltage this corresponds to. We also say lead 2 plus, picking up two electrons to form lead metal, and we know what voltage that corresponds to. Now we can't just add these voltages up right now as it is, because both of these are reduction reactions. But we know that an a redox reaction must have both oxidation and reduction. A nice mnemonic device is oil rig. Which tells us oxidation is loss of electrons, whereas reduction is gain of electrons. We are told that this lead is oxidized. However, as it's written, it's written as a reduction, so we know we're going to need to flip that. So let's go ahead and add up these two equations to write a redox reaction. We have copper 2 plus adding two electrons to form copper metal. Now we're going to write lead metal giving up two electrons to form lead 2 plus ions. We know what the uh, reduction potentials and oxidation potentials are for these two reactions. For the copper, it's positive 0 0.340 volts. And this one, it's uh, now going to be positive 0.126 volts. Now you remember that that was negative on the previous plot. Here it was a negative 0.126 volts. However, when we flip it to write it as an oxidation instead of a reduction, we change the sign. Therefore, we have two positive values. And when you add these two up, when you add the reduction potential for both oxidation and reduction, you get what's called the overall cell potential, delta V naught. And in this case, we find that that value is equal to 0.466 volts. Now that we have that, we know what species is reduced, we know what species is oxidized, we see that the electrons cancel out when you add these two reactions together. We can go ahead and write out what we would expect the voltage to be so we can solve for the concentration of these lead 2 plus ions that the question is asking for. We know that the cell potential, delta V, will be equal to delta V naught, the overall cell potential, minus RT over NF times natural log of K. R is our gas constant. T is the temperature. N is the number of electrons in the redox reaction. And F is Faraday's constant. Which is 96,500 coulombs per mole. K, meanwhile, is our reaction quotient, which is going to be the products over reactants. which in this case is going to be the concentration of lead 2 plus ions over the concentration of copper 2 plus ions. Now that we know all this, let's go ahead and plug it in. 
Solving for lead 2 plus is simple. We can just take exponential of both sides of this expression. And when I do so, I find that the concentration of lead 2 plus ions is equal to 0 0.6 molar times the exponential of negative 3.1 937 and this equals 0 0.0246 molar. So we've solved for the concentration of lead 2 plus ions.